quote is where it says they were still the only farm in the whole county owned and operated by animals, ah. even though they weren't. Like when you hear the People's Republic of China or the People's Republic of North Korea, right. it's not a republic, but the people there are like, this is our country. But right. It's not. It's right. People of country. So it's a good historical illusion there. Right. What do you think about that, Pablo? You seem to have a Yeah, well, I also see a point. But I also see that it's unusual that they didn't mention the other countries ever going through revolution. What's that from? Batman. Batman. <laughs> oh, cultural reference thrown down. That's good. That, that applies nicely. What is, okay. Yes. Why? I don't know. You can not seduce, but like manipulate. Yeah, right? manipulate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that manipulation is mental seduction? I mean, that is actually a good addiction choice. It's just like playing with the phrase a bit. But he did like mentally seduce them into seeing things a certain way. It's good. Um, what is Orwell saying about that? About people in general? I mean, yes, he yeah. actually was saying about people in a certain historical time period, but I can th I think we can even elevate it and be broader than that to human nature a bit. What do you think he's saying? That maybe people are naive to what. Literary date. You were just meeting and discussing the novel that we are reading, The Kite Runner. So when told to do so, you will discuss the topic until you hear the timer go off. Um, you're being assessed on your ability to respond to the questions and substantiate your responses with references to the text. All right? Okay, so for round one, Hassan lied about stealing from Amir. Why did Baba forgive him, even though he said in earlier chapters that theft was the one thing that could not be forgiven? Okay, you have three minutes to discuss with your name. Go. <laughs> ponders this. How do Bob's feelings about his son change after they flee to America? All right, discuss. Okay. He's comparing the pen that he's writing his story with to a gun. What kind of literary device is that? It's, in, uh, it's a metaphor. Okay. And... Well, actually, no, it's not a metaphor. It's a simile. It's a simile. Oh, so it's a simile. Yes. But so what? What's the effect? Um, that kind of makes me think... Um, I don't know, it just it gives the whole poem like a really serious vibe. Because if you're kind of reading this, it's just some dude digging a hole, some about <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> but like he's trying to show his passion for writing and showing like how his grandfather was passionate about digging his father was passionate about digging and then comparing digging to writing he's showing his passion for writing like through theirs mm -hmm. did you guys see it did you and Kendra see it as a metaphor like that the writing was also digging yeah because right here he's saying I don't know I kind of felt like he was kind of talking about himself like he's not going to just like Right, he's gonna like write. Like he's gonna go for like the good. What would be okay if you're writing? What is the good turf? Um, because literally the good turf is the good part of the soil and the good part where to plant the potatoes. But what is it? But okay, if you're gonna take that metaphorically and you're gonna lift that back out and to represent something about writing, how how is writing like carrying milk in a bottle, cork sloppily with paper? I mean, if you, you could go back through this poem and see the writing metaphor overlaid on it. Powerful. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. It's snug as a gun. It's ready, <laughs> it's ready to go. It's kind of dark. It's his dark. I don't see, I don't read that gun as dark. I read it as words are power. A weapon. Yeah. It's a weapon. But he to, holds that power. He wields it. It's, and it's yeah. tough. And it you fits know? well with him. Like that's, that's his special tool. I like how the last sentence, it's like so short. It has a sense of like finality in it. And like the syntax and just the way it's arranged is so different from the rest of the poem. It just sticks out a lot. I think it's really powerful. I wanted to say when you said um, so he can leave his mark on the world, his uh, grandfather and his father actually left a mark on the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, I want you all to learn this. When reading poetry, any sentence that starts with the word but, 
that's a tone shift. It has to be. I mean, 99% of the time. But, like, on the other hand, like, you're switching. So that's a great clue if you're looking for a way in and you need to talk about shifting. Um, but what? I have no spade to follow like them. So is he, is he saying, I am not proud of myself? What is he saying? God like, didn't give me a spade. Maybe to dig. He gave me a pen. By God, he gave me a pen. And it's really <laughs> <laughs> that seems like what he's saying, right? Okay, I, like I think I you can read it either way. It's what I like about poetry, as long as we're not going too far away from the imagery, the diction, the text. we got to keep returning to the text. I think you can read it through that lens. And I think that there's something there. I rephrased it in words like we did in class. And gosh. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Gosh. <laughs> like I after reading it, like I did the little title thing and then reading the poem and I was like, wow. So I just wanted to point that out. That's a very, very useful thing to do. What has been the most helpful aspect of the class? I, uh, speaking for myself, I think she's very thorough on getting us to understand grammar rules, and that's just really helped me a lot on the ECT, and it boosted my score up a lot. Questions of Mrs. Walls is she's a stupendous teacher. She's very selfless. She takes a lot of time out of her day to make sure you know her students understand the material, and she is great at getting things across to students. Like if someone gets it one way, she'll like make sure they understand. She like just adapts to different ways students learn, and she's a great person in general, and I love Mrs. Walls.